Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Rihant Online Academy and here in this session we will discuss the June 2019 paper to UGC Net Solutions which is completely based on the official keys released by NTA UGC Net the agency which is conducting NET examination and uh, guys uh, we will discuss the question 1 to 2 in this video session and uh, here in our forthcoming sessions we will discuss complete paper right so please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get all the answers all the questions and their descriptions and complete solutions in very detail right so let's start. The very first question that was asked in UGC NET 2019 exam was basically the question was shuffled, right? So if your paper ha haven't this question, then you can match in any hundred question. This question is existed, right? Because questions are shuffled in everybody's paper, right? So the very first question was the RSA encryption algorithm also work in reverse. That is, you can encrypt message with the private key and decrypt it using public key. Means if to encrypt a message, you should have to use private key and to decrypt the message, you should have to use public key. This property is used in, so basically in network security question and we have discussed this question in our computer network security session and the correct answer is digital signature. Basically, digital signature is, it is a scheme which is consisted of typically three algorithms the key generation algorithm that selects a private key uniformly at random from a set of possible private keys and the algorithm outputs the private key and corresponding public key and a signing algorithm that gives a message that is the decrypted message after encryption and a private key produces a signature so the signature verifies algorithm that given a message public key and signature right so basically uh, the concept here in the question which is asked that the encryption algorithm which works in reverse that is you can encrypt a message with the private key and decrypt the message using public keys property is used in digital signature this is the properties of digital signatures that I can, either it can accept or reject the message claim and its authenticity right so basically digital signature is used in the concept like software transformation or where, where financial transaction happens at that cases digital signatures are uh, very useful and uh, in uh, you can say that after completion of the any software development to transfer the software to the client or user this kind of digital signature is used to claim authenticity of the uh, transfer or any kind of financial transaction is also there right so basically this property is used in digital signature so option two is the most suitable answer now the next question was that is the question number two that was asked is find the zero one matrix of the transitive closure of the relation which is given by this matrix so we have to make zero one matrix of the transitive closure from the given uh, matrix right so basically this matrix is given to us so basically if you will generate a graph diagraph from the given matrix then this is the given matrix right and if you will generate the diagraph then a is a self loop of on a means a can reachable on a but a to b you can't go directly and a to c you have a path b to a you can't have a path b to b you have a self loop and b to c you can't go c to a yeah c to a you can go there is a direct path and c to b you have a direct path but from c to c you didn't have any self loop now we have to generate transitive closure of that means the reachability of the diagraph so we can reach A to A basically if there isn't any self loop also then obvious we can um, move from A to A itself right so A to A is there then you can also go from B to B and as well as C to C because these are itself they are nodes now you can also reach B via C A to C and C to B means A to B is reachability is there so it will be one and A to A is obvious you can reach from A to A so it is also one and A to C you can direct reach so it is also one now if you will see B from B to A you can't go there isn't any path from B to A that is why it is zero and from B to B obvious you can uh, traverse from B to B there is no need of a uh, single loop but if there isn't any single loop now then however you can also say that we can go from B to B because you are extending at their point now so you can reach B to B also now B to C there is a direct path from B to B because it is a directed graph and we can't go from B to C so it is zero now if we will see C then we can go C to A and we can go C to B directly but there isn't any direct path from C 
uh, the obvious we can go from C to C itself, right? Because we are already standing at C point. So it is the corresponding transitive closure of the zero one matrix which we have generated from this matrix, right? So option one is the correct answer. So basically, we are discussing the solutions uh, as per the official can, uh, official uh, keys that is released by NTA UGC Net. In our upcoming lectures, we will discuss more questions on the UGC Net June 2019, and we will try to cover all the questions that is 100 questions completely in our upcoming session. So guys, please subscribe so that you will get these lectures as well as you can get uh, current affairs as well as you can get uh, daily job notifications and each and every aspect of. Uh, upcoming competitive exams right so please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can't miss any of the important lecture from our side and if you have any kind of suggestions for us you can put in the comment section and we will try to follow that and if you have any kind of queries or doubts you can comment us and we will solve that thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat